live cameras, lasers, projection, sound. Yo guys, uh, we are in Covent Garden, of all places, um, but that's not why we're here. You know, we are here again, maybe you saw a different video of kind of Covent Garden something or other, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, if you didn't, go have a look at it, it's up there. Uh, anyway, what we're actually here for is because I'm going to a place called Strand 180 uh, for like, it's, it's this pretty amazing, I think what it used to be was a car park. Um, and yeah, so it used to be a car park, now it's kind of changed into more like, um, like big art installations with, you yeah, know, like immersive sort of stuff, loads of sound, lights, multimedia, projection, maybe interactive, although I haven't really seen any that are necessarily interactive, but definitely immersive, um, which if you do or do not know, that's like right up my street. Speaking of streets, let's get off the street. But yeah, so that was Covent Garden down there, heading down this way, so it's called 180 the strand because it's on at on at on on the strand at 180. Um, the show, if I haven't said already, is called Future Shop. So I think it's like a actual um, kind of more of a like a group show, if you like, of like multiple multiple installations. Um, yeah, I know you can't like officially film in there, so I'm not going to do any like logging in there I will just record it kind of bring you it's bring you with me but kind of hide you a little bit you know um, sorry I'm just haven't uh, vlogged on my phone for quite a while so just get in used to it uh, yeah well there's the Royal Opera House we saw it from the other side before I don't think I've ever actually seen it from this side way more impressive uh, yeah, uh, so down here, so it's kind of, what area is it? I guess, I mean, obviously, it's central London. The Strand, what is on the Strand? Good question. Uh, cars, probably. Again, got to look out for cars. Um, well, there is the Savoy, which is, like, quite a nice hotel. Uh, I don't even know if I'll ever be visiting it, unless perhaps one day I make a billion pounds out of YouTube and that's up to you so do subscribe and let's see what we can do I'll get you in there um, yeah Savoy uh, Somerset House and there's also like called cold, 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 cold walls just kind of like an arts university uh, Somerset House is also kind of like you know an arts and exhibitions and events and you know, creativity like kind of on the high end they do do quite a lot of like they do like design festival photography festival and it's just it's pretty are oh, they also like during winter they have like an ice rink out the front um really nice place to go i've never been ice skating but i've heard it's quite picturesque um yeah and this is kind of as you can see more like theater theater here is a theater oh there where am i pointing there there there, the theatre. This is kind of like theatre world, you know. Loads of theatres everywhere. I don't think I've ever worked in that one. Lion King, but it's a really good show. Um, yeah, we're just coming down to the Strand now. Yeah, the Courtoid. Courtoid, Courtoid, I can never, Courtoid. Courtoid Institute. Uh, and also King's College. I'm just looking at the map now. Da -da -da -da. And then there's Temple. And yeah, there's a Waterloo Bridge which goes, obviously, over to Waterloo uh, and kind of like the National Theatre and stuff just to give you some grounding as to where we are uh, before we disappear into darkness um, I'll kind of I am actually meeting a friend and he's got another friend uh, with him so again I'll probably try and do all the vlogging bit when he's not present unless he wants to be on camera I don't know I don't know we'll see we'll see uh, but yeah, for now, we're gonna go get a drink. I've got about 
20 minutes before I have to meet him. So let's go, let's go. Just stopped in at Tesco and got myself one of these uh, purdies, purdies, refocus. Let's hope that works. Got a bit of guarana in there. Uh, I do, like these are actually really good. Quite often use them as a, like an alternative to like uh, uh, a Red Bull, for example. You know, they are, I don't know, how much was that? 140, they're not cheap. But yeah, I mean, I think they're better. And you know, you don't get the <laughs> craziness. It's just kind of a nice pick me up. And yeah, like it says, refocus. So that's great. Um, okay, so we're almost there, we're almost there. Uh, there is actually two entrances. Sometimes they close uh, one or the other, depending on where, uh, or like what the actual exhibition is. So, um, oh, this is all, that's all closed, the whole road's closed, brilliant. I don't need to worry about traffic now, look, so this is Somerset House, that we're not going in there today, and then next door is uh, King's College, and then I think it's kind of, what's the next one down, or somewhere around here, actually I might just do a bit of a walk and show you it while I'm here. It is a nice building. The whole place is really nice actually. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. Let's check it out, let's check it out. I don't know what it was originally built for. If you know, let me know down in the comments. I've been here quite a few times, worked here over the years quite a lot. And like I said, they do, uh, they do the, uh, the ice skating rink uh, here where all the kids are now playing in the water but yeah such a nice building uh, yeah it's amazing 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 again that's not really why we're here we're here for the place next door ah, we're almost there it is just over here somewhere um yeah i actually did a whole spiel but tried to do a uh, I read off the website and it didn't work because for some reason with this thing I can't record and film, no sorry, I can't film and change apps, which is annoying. Anyway, what I did say was a few things other than just the, about the exhibition, I also talked about King's College, which is really nice. What, what I find really interesting about it is that on the outside, They've got like their ex-pupils or alumni, shall we say. Um, you yeah, know, some quite, um, quite famous, interesting, or, you know, uh, influential. Yes, that's the word, influential ones. So that's really great. Uh, uh, right now, this part of the Strand is closed off. Uh, it is also a Sunday, so it's very, very quiet. Um, gosh, I could almost hear myself think. Uh, maybe, maybe that might be pushing it a bit, but um, yeah, I think all roads should be like this. Maybe one day, maybe one day. Literally, I can hear the trees blowing in the wind. There's some trees up there. Great. Um, I'll kind of head down that way. I got to meet up with my friend. He's probably about five minutes away. Um, 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 it's around here somewhere. Actually, I'll just walk you down here and I'll show you where the entrance is and then I'll say goodbye till the end because, yeah, like I said, you can't really do this sort of filming. They don't really like too much filming, but you are allowed, you are allowed to film on your phone. Yeah, you are allowed to film, film on your phone, so that's good. Oh, it's been a while since I've been here. Ah, there it is. There. There we are. There. Found. Just have your tiny little space. There Yeah, one second. I'm just filming something. Oh, yeah, man. Um, ah, there's my friend there. So, just going to do a quick one because then I'll go talk to him. 
Uh, so I think, wow, ah, the entrance looks a lot nicer. It's here. If you're ever here, do stop in. It wasn't cheap. It was uh, 25 pounds a ticket for a Sunday ticket. So yeah, you've got to be well invested in this sort of stuff. But, you know, it's nice glass doors. If you can't afford them, you can just stare at the doors. But it, I, well, I don't know if it's worth it yet, but I think we'll find out. Um, I have been to some other shows there that have blown my mind, but they haven't quite been that expensive. Um, but yeah, you do also have the pre-book. Uh, you didn't used to have to, you could just walk in, but I think post-COVID times, they like kind of keeping the, uh, yeah, the numbers down or in control at least, or kind of documented as to who, who is who. Okay, anyway, friends here, gonna go talk to them. Because uh, also one I don't know, so, you know, but this is the strand, 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 strand. All right. Well, gonna take you in there, so you'll just start seeing all the flashing lights and stuff. That was Future Shock um, at Strand 180. <sighs> what do you think? Intense. A lot of uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff there. I thought it'd be a bit more interactive, to be honest. There was one piece that kind of said it was interactive, but there was something wrong with the Wi-Fi. Blah 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 blah. Uh, it didn't seem to interact. But yeah, what do you think? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Not much more to say about it. Like you know, lights. Cameras, sensors, no, there's no sensors, no sensors, lasers, there's lasers, projection, sound, I think probably which was my favorite piece, probably the very first piece, the very first one 
which is kind of, you know, it's a good like intro to the whole thing, which is this uh, kind of point cloud animation or like instancing, which kind of then was audio reactive with like flashing lights and stuff. So there was just like a good like oof, kick in the teeth to kind of get you going. And then it kind of, I guess, got a bit more mellow and like, you know, various videos and various other things throughout. So you kind of got this big punch and then kind of like more like immersive other things that kind of, you know, a bit more intimate in some places as well. So yeah, all up, I think a really good show. If you are around, you know, I managed to spend probably at least an hour and a half. I could have spent a bit more time there. Um, but yeah, definitely worth, worth it. 25 pounds is still quite a lot of money. But I think, you know, if you're, um, yeah, probably worth it, probably. Worth it for me, worth it for me. You know? But for me, it's, it's vlogging material, it's research, it's art stuff. You know, for me, it, it kind of ticks a lot of boxes for me. But, um, yeah, that's it. I'm just uh, holding up my friend over here somewhere. So we're going to go have a coffee. Uh, I don't want to spend too long on the outro. So that was the outro. Uh, if you enjoyed it, think about subscribing. You know, these are the kind of things that I'd much, like, you know, as opposed to, like, the white wall paintings but you know on on in galleries you know normal sort of little galleries like this for me is kind of the future future shock right this is like the future of art um technology based stuff i mean you know paintings still have their place obviously they have their tradition but i do feel that um yeah this way where the audience is engaged and interactive you know, the, the mindset of, I think, of us these days anyway is that we need more stimuli. And I think this kind of definitely provided that. Uh, yes, that was a little bit of a ramble, but anyway, if you liked it, subscribe, like it, comment down below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Uh, until then, keep on drifting.